Hey, Sean and Darren here, and this video is called Confronting Your Food Demons. Now, this is a weight loss via meditation, uh, I guess, vlog video where I talk about the, the process that I'm currently pioneering this new area of life. Uh, um, if you are interested in more videos about letting go, uh, I talk about love, relationships, sexuality, confidence, health, all of this stuff, um, multiple videos a week. Uh, if you're interested, make sure to subscribe. In this video, we're going to be talking about weight loss via meditation, this new area of life that I'm currently pioneering. Uh, my name is Sean and Darren. I improve my life through letting go and I help others do the same. So if you don't know by now, which you, which you should, if you are a current, if you are a follower, I'm currently trying to pioneer of, of life called weight loss via meditation, which means we, we look at our reactions to food and we, we let go of our reactions to let a truer sense of self come forth and to create the body that we were meant to have, which means if you lose weight, you lose weight. If you gain muscle or whatever, you create that through conscious eating, through conscious looking at your food and letting off your reactions and all this sort of stuff. Now, one of the processes that I'm currently working on before I say, hey, this is it. This is a current, this is like a pioneering vlog. I, I, I'm honestly doing these videos because one, I want people to fucking know about it. Two, I want people to, I want to, when I pioneer it and other people copy it, I want people to be like, no, Sharon and Darren is the one that did it first. He's the best. Fuck y'all, right? But one of the processes we go through, through this process, is it's really important to allow yourself to eat the foods that you were maybe think are bad or have stopped yourself from eating for one reason or another. Maybe you've t someone's told you, sugar is bad, this is bad. Uh, maybe... Maybe you've done a number of reasons, you've done like some meditation or you've done some hypnosis or you've done some things to try and stop yourself from eating these foods and no matter what happens, uh, you keep, you, like you just keep being drawn back to it. For me, uh, some of my things, were, uh, some of my, my foods I kept going back to was chocolate, certain kinds of chocolate. I don't have, I only have white chocolate because other kinds of chocolate has caffeine. I don't have, I don't have coffee. Uh, I don't have caffeine. Uh, uh, for me, it was also cheese, right? Cheese was also a food that I went back to constantly. Now, it happened to me the other day that I was going to get petrol. So I'm driving my car. Oh no, my petrol thing is low. I got to go to the, the petrol station. Or and you guys in America call it the gas station. Let's get some gas. Um, so I went to the gas station and there, lo and behold was the holiest of holies, the miracle of creation, caramel. Now, what is caramel? Caramel is Cadbury. Cadbury caramel is caramelized white chocolate. Now, when it first came out, they, they did this amazing campaign that basically was like, caramel's coming, caramel's coming, caramel's coming, caramel's coming, and it came, and I personally went nuts trying to find it. As someone who only has white chocolate, having caramel, caramelized white chocolate, presented itself as something out of the ordinary. I was very excited by this concept. Now I went nuts. I bought some. I bought some. I even made caramel mousse. I was pretty happy by it. For people who who knew me personally, they were telling me where to find it because if I went to the grocery stores, it was run out. It was really just a pain in the dick. Now. This time I was going to the, the gas station and I see caramel there and I'm like, this shouldn't be here. They've stopped it. Why is it here? So what do I do? I buy two, right? I buy two and the guy's like, if you get a third one, you'll get it for cheaper. So I go, yeah, let's do it. So I get the third one and I'm driving, right? I'm driving. Now I'm noticing within my body and myself a desire to eat this caramel, a real depth. I, uh, I think I must eat this. So what do we do? The weight loss via meditation method, m moment, whatever, is to allow yourself to forgive yourself for having these cravings. You crave them for one reason or another. You must, cr you, like, it is to forgive yourself, to not shame yourself, to not hurt yourself, for desiring food, these foods that you so crave, right? No matter what they are. So what do I do? I tear open a bit and I go, nom, 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 nom. Mm, that's right, nice. I remember when I first started eating it, I liked eating two rows at a time. 
for some reason two rows at a time was always just amazing. If it was, if it was like four squares, annoying. I liked it in a row and it was two rows in a, in a thing. Now, without realizing, pretty soon I had eaten the whole block of chocolate. Now, what most people do, I don't know about you, but whenever I talk to people, if you've eaten something that you know you shouldn't have, what people tend to do is they tend to emotionally hurt. Maybe you feel bloated, maybe you feel sad, maybe you feel guilt, maybe you feel remorse, maybe you're just feeling right down guilty of eating the goddamn chocolate. Now, this is where I realized there is an amazing concept, an amazing thing, because I'm gonna tell you why in a second that relates to all of this. You know in life, when people say confront your demons, you gotta confront your demons and it's all about growing stronger. Well, why not confront your food demons? Confront your food demons. Now, using the weight loss via meditation method that I'm currently pioneering, I observed my reactions to the food and let them go. How do you let them go? It's all gonna be in the future program or whatever I share, right? It's gonna fucking change the world. I swear to God, if you can lose weight and be healthier by doing fucking nothing, like, I don't know what, I don't know, like, if that ain't gonna make me like a million dollars, I don't know fucking what will. <laughs> but it's funny because as I was mindful and observing my reactions to the caramel, the whole thing was falling apart. I was able to taste its little composite bits and it just, the whole thing seemed a little bit less exciting. And usually if there's chocolate in the house, I gotta eat it. I don't know about you, if there's chocolate in the house, I gotta eat it. That's why I don't have chocolate in the house. So what happens next? Well, it has been several days. And I have not eaten these goddamn caramel bars. It has been, I don't know, maybe four or five days since I bought. In the story, I said there were three blocks of chocolate that I bought. How many do you see here? Two. I am proud of myself. I am also proud to present this idea of confronting your food demons. It is a hundred percent to give in to temptation because the fighting, that momentum, you, you know what I'm all about, right? I'm all about letting go and being the person that you're meant to be, which means that we don't wanna waste energy dealing with problems and things we've been dealing with our whole life, which means that if there is a craving you have, if you walk by the candy aisle and are like, ooh, I like that, ooh, I shouldn't like that, those are fucking layers that layer on and stop your true self from being who and what you were meant to be. That is wasted energy. Wasted energy of being who and what you are meant to goddamn be. That is why you must forgive yourself, be patient with yourself, and allow yourself to confront your food demons as long as you are mindful and willing to let go. Now, how you go about that I am not fully ready to reveal that just yet. The purpose of this video is to at least give you a hint of looking into the idea of what exactly I am doing with this whole weight loss via meditation thing and also put my big old stamp on it. We have to be ready, right? We have to be ready for this new area of life. And so far, my weight is slowly decreasing. But it's funny because now, if you watch the last video about body image, it doesn't matter to me anymore. I used to try and lose weight all the time and then I'd be happy. I'm like, oh, now I can eat, right? It does not matter anymore. I'm happy with the body I'm in. I want you to be happy with yours if you are not. And if you want to lose weight, if in your mind's eye, you know that you're, the body you're in is not the body that you want to be in, you will, when I fully release the weight loss through meditation, system, program, whatever it is, you will enjoy watching your self, your mind evolve and grow as your body changes to the body you were meant to be. 
Thank you for watching. If you did like this video, make sure to leave a like because if you did, then I like you. Make sure to subscribe uh, because I talk a lot about letting go, dating, relationships, sexuality, um, and more. So thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon.